Hello and good day to everyone. Thank you so much for enrolling in this course. Let's go ahead and look at the structure of the course. So after you join the course, you will be coming to the home page. In home page, you, you will be going through about the seismic data processing, about the instructor, uh, myself, a little bit introduction. Then you have the course objective and the way how you can take this course. So I have explained how you can perform all the activities to complete this course and end of this course you will get the certificate as well. If you look at the course layout, so it consists of five chapters which will go into detail. So it's actually in learning activities. So once you click on learning activities, you will dive into five chapter. So the first chapter is actually understanding the seismic so if you are a newbie or you don't understand about the seismic anything so you will have this chapter will helps you to understand the seismic waves why these waves are important in exploration geophysics and also there is one chapter about 3d seismic make visibility of subsurface feature and end of this uh, chapter you will have some activities to perform which is in a small quizzes you you have to perform then we're gonna dive into the second chapter which is actually data processing in geophysics so it consists of three main video lecture the first one is introduction of this chapter then you you will be scaling your skills in geophysics and also the real scenario and motivation of the seismic to bring your motivation more to understand the seismic and obviously end of this chapter also we got some activities so you can perform that one to complete the course after that we're going to jump into the pre-processing steps so which are the necessary steps for performing seismic data processing so in this you have six main video lectures and one activity then we're going to learn about the seismic main processing or the processing steps which is introduction of the chapter then we have sorting also understanding the velocity and velocity analysis static correction and deconvolution which are the main processing steps of performing any seismic data processing so uh, lastly uh, i will also cover the seismic migration that will allow you to choose the correct migration methodology or the algorithm to perform what type of structure you are looking for looking for and also you you can get the better understanding to choose um, based on your performance and also based on your budget which migration algorithm you want to go in so uh, if you are really excited then let's get start to all the chapter and thank you so much